Hello everyone, this is Miss Nelson. And Miss Hall. And today we are going to do, um, this is video one of all the videos um, that you are going to be working today for, um, for homework. You're going to have two parts, one over simple interest, which is what we're going to do now, and then you'll have a second video for compound interest. Um, so whenever we're working simple interest, basically put simple interest is the amount um, that is earned over time for things that are in like a savings account. Like if you have money in a savings account, you may hear your parents say, oh, well, we earned interest. Um, depending on the type of account it's in, you are either going to earn simple or compound interest. So simple interest is exactly that, the simpler version. There's only one um, equation that you are going to use or formula that you are going to use to solve and it remains consistent no matter what. So this formula right here shows up on your formula chart and it says I equals PRT. So if we break it, everything down into its components, the I is interest, the P is principal. That is the amount you start with, what you put in the bank to start with. Your rate, okay, is typically the percentage and your T is time, how long you have it going through there. So if we multiply all of these things together, that is how we end up with our interest, okay? So I'm going to show you what that looks like. Number one says find the simple interest to the nearest cent. Now the first thing you always need to do, you immediately need to go to your rates and you need to turn those into decimals. You cannot multiply a number by a percent, but we can multiply by a decimal. So remember to move a percent to a decimal, we go two places to the left with our decimal. So this becomes .0625 and I'm going to go ahead and write that for all of them because your interest will remain the same. Your interest does not bounce around to a different number when you're solving this. So now, all I need to do is take my 500, multiply it by my .0625 and multiply it by my 1, okay? So if I do that, if I multiply my first two, okay, and when you're multiplying, you can multiply these in any order, but because one is my last number, I know anything times one is going to be itself, so I'm really in this particular part of it only multiplying two numbers. So I'm going to go through all my decimals, so my zero placeholders, it's very important that you put your zero placeholders, remembering to mark it, so now I'm at my five, so that's 25, that's 12, 30, 31, and three. So, I have four total decimal places, so one, two, three, four. So my interest earned when I multiply after one year at this rate is $31.25, okay? So now, I'm going to do the same thing over here at the second one. I'm going to take my 500, multiply by my .0625, and times two. Now, there are lots of ways that you can do this. Um, one way for sure, because we are at the same rate, if I'm going from one year, and if this is what it's at for one year, for two years I can take a shortcut and I can actually come over here and do 3125 times 2 because my rate is consistent and it doesn't change from year to year. So in two decimal places, I get 62.50, $62.50 cents for my second year. Now my third one, they change it up a little bit and now we're at four years and not three years. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to multiply like you can always multiply each step. So I'm going to take my 500. I'm going to, and I know that my 500 times this right here, these two multiplied were my $31.25. I figured that out from step one. So now I'm going to take my $31.25 and I'm going to multiply it by 4 because I have 4 years. So I get a total of $125. So at the end of the year, my interest earned was $125 on a principal loan that was $500 for four years. For four years. Now be sure you look at your the question that they're asking because sometimes they will ask how much interest was earned and sometimes they will ask what your new total is. So if they ask you what your new total is, it's going to be this original that you started with of five hundred dollars plus your one twenty five. Correct. Right, Miss Nelson. Yes. Okay. So now step 
um, two, our number two, we just have another um, example. And um, we have $400 principal. So I'm just, and um, our rate is 3.67% um, for two years. So I'm going to use um, our formula, I equals P400 times our rate. Remember to convert that to a decimal because we can't multiply a percent. We have to convert it to a decimal times two. Now remember your order of operations. It doesn't matter what order you do it in. Um, it just makes sense to me to multiply two times 400 because that I can do in my head. Then I'm not dealing with these decimals as much. I kind of try to save those to the end. So I have 800 times 0 0.0367. And I'm going to come over here and just do that. Actually, I want to put the Oops, this is a three. It doesn't matter which order I do it in. But I know zero times anything is zero, so I'm going to put all of those there. And then I'm multiplying by my uh, the second zero here. And I know those are all zero. So Miss Nelson showed, talked about place um, holders, making sure you put those in there. Um, you can use zeros. You can use Xs. When I, I like to especially use X's when I'm dealing with a bunch of zeros, and then that reminds me that that is actually a placeholder. I didn't multiply that. So now I have um, this last step here. So 8 times 7. eight times 6 plus 5. Now add them up. I have one, two, three, four um, numbers behind the decimals up here. And remember, we want to round to the nearest dollar. So it would be nearest cent. Near cent. Sorry. Thank you. 29.36. And we actually have zeros there, so there's no rounding involved. So it's $29.00 and 36 cents. Okay, number three, our next, next example, we have $770 at 16% for six months. So let's talk about this six months. Um, we normally do by the year, and so if it's six months, how much of a year is that? That's going to be half a year, and we know that that is um, 0.5, is the decimal equivalent for one half. So now I'm going to um, use my formula. My principal is 770. Change this 16% to um, a decimal. So it's 0.16 times 0.5. Now I know if I multiply by 0.5, it's really, um, I'm halving the 770. So I'm going to do that first. That's okay. Two into seven goes three times. Two into 17 goes eight times. And two into 10 goes five. So this is, this set have um, 770 times 0.5 or divided by two is 385. Now I'm going to multiply by my 0.16. Okay. So I'm going to come over here to do my math. 6 times 5 is 30. 6 times 8 is 48 for 9, 50, 51. 6 times 3 is 18. 19, 20, 23, and then 5, 8, 3. So I have $61.60. Do we want to do this one with them, or do we want them to try to? They can try by themselves. 
So number four, we've done one, two, three, four, five examples with you. Number four, I want you to, um, we want you to try this on your own. So it's two, 250 um, at 5% for three years. And we want the total amount that is in this account after the five years, I mean the three years. And remember, Ms. Nelson and I talked about that at the beginning, where you have to get what the interest is and then add that back to your original principal. Okay, try that one by yourself. See you tomorrow. Bye.